Tuba City High School has a tradition, the cross-country champions. A high school cross-country team consists of seven runners. The first five runners counts in the scoring. The six and seven runners are important if they finish ahead of the opposing team first five runners. They add points to the team score in case of a tie score, the win goes to the team whose six men crosses the finish line first. Scoring is done by adding the total places of the first five runners on a team. The first man across the finish line gets one point for the team. Second man received two points. The third man received three points and so on. A perfect score is 15 points, which means the team finished it. One, two, three, four, and five. Cross country is a team sport that rewards the runners that run together as a team. A team with five to seven good runners will always beat a team with four great runners and one bad runner. Our better runners are always helping. Our slow runner during a race. They talk to them and encourage them to keep it up. In some cases, this means the better runners slows down to lose a place in the standing. In order that the slower runners will finish higher than without his teammates' help. The distance of the race varies from three to three and a half mile. Terrain differs from flat courses to sandy, hilly courses. The runner's attitude also has an effect on how a course is run. <laughs> it is important to know the course as well and plan the strategy for the individual as well as for the team. Now you're going to have to get in position, Stace, before you go through that slim gate and come right on in here. Oh, God, that thing's skinny. It's uh, crazy. Yeah, right here. Oh, so we can go this yeah. way? No, no, no. You go this way and around this way. Oh, yeah. Around. You do one, you know, one, one lap. One lap. Oh, yeah. Last one, we came here, we didn't do this one, huh? Uh -uh. We just did this one because I remember that. We've got to get out decently. You saw what happened to the girls now. If they lose, it'll be because of the, our fourth and fifth girl. Uh, not fourth and fifth, that was, she was all right. It's the fifth and sixth and seventh girl. Chris never was in a race again. So we've got to, we've got to get a decent start. Because of Tuba City High School team effort, we have won 11 state cross country championship over the past 13 years. We have won the past eight in a row. We have also won nine consecutive divisional titles and four times we have been voted the top team in the state regardless of classification. We were rated third in the nation in 1977 and fifth in the nation in 1978. Six times out of the past seven years, Tuba City has been chosen among the top 50 high school team in America. In 1977, the team retired the 22-year-old Squaw Peak Invitational Trophy. This means the team won the trophy three times in a row and the team keeps the trophy. The Squaw Peak Invitational was the oldest and largest cross-country meet in Arizona, with 700 runners and over 65 schools competing. Tuba City was the only non-AAA school to ever win the Tempe All-Star Meet and the only school to ever win it three times. The Tempe All-Star Meet pits the top 20 teams in the state against each other. Tuba City has not lost a cross-country meet to a school its own size since 1974. During the past 13 years, 29 Tuba City High School runners has made first team All-State and 27 boys has made the second team All-State.
Since 1975, we have had three individual state champions. Joseph Nelson, 1975, Herman Snea, 1976, and Andy Indeschini in 1982. Two boys, 11 state championship and eight in a row or both national records. Tuba City has the lowest score to ever win a state meet, 20 points in 1975. This record was tied by our 1977 team. Yesterday, Bill Everton took us on the Arizona road. The team has received local, state, and national recognition. Bill Leverton from Channel 10 in Phoenix visited Tuba City to write and videotape a story about the team, which appeared as a two-point series on the 6 o'clock news. Way up and out in the middle of nowhere on the Navajo Reservation. It's early in the morning. First three times up the left-hand trail, coming down hard. Next, next three times, you're going to go up the face there hard, come back and come around the trail. Curl down? Chalk down. Easy. Chalk down. The Tuba City High School varsity cross-country track team. You wouldn't suspect it, but they are formidable. In the past 12 years, they have won 10 state championships, the last seven in a row. Typical training schedule now, 12 times up and down this hill, most of it deep sand. A week or so ago, the team went to Las Vegas and ran against the best high school cross-country track teams in the West. In this tape, supplied by Tuba City Schools, we see Tuba City runners crossing the finish line first. The varsity team members run an average of a thousand miles a year, and for all practical purposes, they never lose. What, what makes them so much better at this than... I'm, I'm asked that all the time. I. Uh... Of course, I think they have a good coach, but, uh, and they have natural abilities that uh, I think is bred in them if that's possible, but, uh, you know, you can be the most talented person in the world, and if you don't work at it and develop your talents, you're not going to be anybody or anything. So maybe I have found a way to get through to them and uh, give them something to shoot for. I really don't know, uh, other than I go back to pride and uh, a sense of accomplishment. It's something that we can do better than anybody. Andy Industry, Philip Cooley, and Milfred Tiwawina, so far ahead in this track meet, there's really no contest. This is Bill Leverton, TV 10 News, on the Arizona Road. There's one sports Anthony did not mention this evening, and for that, we have to travel with Bill Leverton on the Arizona Road to a place where you could perhaps least expect to find what may be the fastest high school cross-country track team in the hey, nation. Guys. Go! Go! Go, go. go Ramson! It is a small track meet hosted by Tuba City High School. Several cross-country teams from high schools in northern Arizona are here. This is the varsity run, a little over three miles, but three really tough miles. Steep hills, deep sand. Here in the final minutes of the race, Andy Industry, Philip Cooley, and Milfred Tiwawina are so far ahead of the pack, they're hardly trying. It's kind of a pleasant outing for them. In fact, six of the seven varsity runners from Tuba City come in first this day, one point away from a perfect score. I don't know. Started off early, man. About age of 11, maybe. Running? Yeah. Jogging, jogging here and there. What, what is it about you guys that makes you come in so far ahead of the other guys? Because we're good. Because we're good. They are good. They haven't been beat. They haven't been beat for the last seven years. And their coach, Bud Davis, finds it hard to define the secret. There's no secret. Just hard work, utilizing the natural talents the kids have, and, uh, and then just building on their pride and tradition, which we have a lot of here at Tuba. 
One day in a restaurant in Phoenix, after winning a big track meet, the Indians were making a lot of noise, being boisterous. And the kids had their trophy in front of them. Really proud. And just beaming all over the place. And uh, one of the boys who really hadn't said a word all year pointed at the people that were going by or people in the restaurant and said, uh, you know, I bet they think that we're just regular Indians. The Tuba City Runners then ranked among the best high school cross-country track teams in the nation, perhaps the best. Not just your regular Indians. This is Bill Leverton on the Arizona Road. For the past 10 years, Tuba City Runners have had an extra incentive. If they win the state championship, they are invited to Las Vegas to be guests of Wayne Newton and attend his show. Following the show, they are invited backstage. The team also tours his ranch and home. The athletes and the parents feel that cross-country is very beneficial. My name is Tom Hatafali. I was with the cross-country team here in Tuba from 1973 to 1977. And I felt very fortunate to be part of a great team. And it's very flattering to see that this great winning tradition is still intact. Presently, I am working as an administrative assistant here in Tuba City with the Youth Service Program. And I uh, went to Central Arizona College for two years and then down at NAU for two years. And I feel running is a great part of an individual slash, especially teenagers, like here at the high school. Through my own experience, I feel that I've learned perseverance and humanity from it because of the strictness it instills into our individual's life. And from what I've learned, I have been able to relate it to other things. And my coach, Bud Davis, I feel he is very knowledgeable. <clears throat> He's the type of an individual that he reinforces you with your everyday life to continue on to accept failures and when it comes and then to readjust and stri come striving back for success again. I say that I think that uh, the booster bus is uh, a good idea. We've got a lot of people and parents and uh, other community people involved in something that I don't think uh, was there before. I got to know a lot of people that worked uh, for public schools and the BIA. Uh, and I think that's important, especially in a community like Cuba City, where it's going kind to of diversify. And as far as the uh, meat, I feel that uh, the, the runners did very good. And I think it's something that's going to um, serve them well in the future. The amount of discipline they put in, the amount of work they do, and the amount of support that they count on for their parents and also the coaching that they get from uh, Mr. Davis and then Mr. Goma Kimo. Uh, I just wish them luck uh, in, in, the, uh, in the future, not just in sports, but in you know, other academic pursuits that they may follow. So, best of luck. They're great. I think when there's a parents that go along with them, I think they do a better job running. So, I am really proud of the kids. That's all I have to say. Well, I think Tuba City should be proud of the cross country team. It's exciting, and you get you get all all jumpy and everything. So that's all I did is jump around when they were running. My name is Herman Sania, and I attended <clears throat> Tuba City High School four years began running cross country 1975 through 78 had a pretty successful season as an individual and as a team during the three years while I was on the team we won we were state champions and it was a good thing to be a part of state champion uh, that's what all the teams, high school teams, strive for to be state champions. And it's hard to do that. It takes a lot of hard work and discipline. A large part of it falls on the individual 
and also the coach. They got to work together, and also as a team. Um, after graduating from high school, I went to Illinois State. Was there for four years. Was on the cross country team there. Uh, I was fairly successful at Illinois State. It was a good experience being away from home. Uh, the main reason for going to Illinois State was basically uh, my high school coach. He influenced me a lot. He told me that it would be good for a person to get away from the reservation, away from your friends, which could hinder your running to a certain extent. Anyway, I took up his offer and I went to Illinois State. I also was given a scholarship, which helped out a lot. Tuition in Otter State is expensive. And so that helped me out a lot, the uh, scholarship. Early in the season, the team participates in the Las Vegas Invitational, where the team has a chance to compete against the top team from California and Nevada. The Las Vegas meet is a good indicator of how Tuba City rates with the largest school in the West. Right on around and up the hill now, right up the hill. Way to go, Way to go, Rapson. Way to go, Stiz. Come on, Alan, looking good. Nice going, Alan. With a low of 35 points with Scuba City. Tempe All-Star meet is unique. The top 20 team competes against each other regardless of classification or size of the school. The teams are chosen by coaches and sports writers poll. In 1982, Tuba City's top five runners finished it in the top 25. Tuba City won with the lowest score ever recorded. At the state championship meet this year, Tuba City dominated by taking the first three places and all seven runners receiving state medals. Andy Indash Cheney became the third runner from Tuba City to win the individual state cross country championship and leading the team to its 11th state championship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
was kind of a legend himself uh, among his own time. kind, a uh, soft-spoken man. Of course, I think they have a good coach, but, uh, and they have natural abilities that uh, I think is bred in them if that's possible, but, uh, you know, you can be the most talented person in the world, and if you don't work at it and develop your talents, you're not going to be anybody or anything. So... Maybe I have found a way to get through to them and uh, give them something to shoot for. I really don't know, I, other than I go back to pride and uh, a sense of accomplishment. It's something that we can do better than anybody. The Indian runners, Bud Davis told me, like to say they weren't regular Indians. They were the fast Indians, the runners. Well, Bud Davis was not a regular man. He was a special man way up here in a faraway corner of the world. Young, 
keep this uh, keep this in mind. The seniors uh, going out the cold crew world pretty soon. Uh, remember the discipline, all the hard work. Do that same thing and everything they could do from now on. Uh, this championship uh, season was, uh, was really something that you know, these young men really worked hard to overcome a lot of the adversity, especially uh, some of the that happened a couple of years ago. And, uh, really proud to be uh, at least a small part of that. And uh, what you say, guys, is when you do a common thing, do it uncommonly well. And uh, that's about uh, what I have to say for right now. Thank you, Mr. Gilster. I'll just add a few comments here. Um, all of you young men have a, have a special talent, a special thing that you were born with. Um, this is your gift, not just to yourselves, your family, your community, and all of humanity. Guard it well. Cherish it. Take care of it. Use it well. And I also want to say that without coaches like Mr. Gocher to assist young people with their talents, it, it wouldn't be able to be developed to the point where yours is. And we, we value you, we're proud of you, we're proud that you're part of our community, and you're part of us, and we're proud of you. And we value very much our coaches and especially tonight, Mr. Vulture, for having been able to lead you and guide you and help you develop all that you have here and achieve the accomplishments of conference state champions um, for Arizona AAA Class 2 and also the North Central Division. And we're real excited for you and we're real happy that you could be here tonight to share this time with us and us with you. There are some special awards to be given out here that I'll come down to <coughs> call you up and give to the presentation. Yeah, I'm just get one last comment. Sure. Uh, I'd like to recognize uh, <coughs> people's uh, very valuable support who uh, give out a lot of time and, and help. I'd like to recognize uh, his colleague Gay in the back. Dolly, could you please come? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Renani. One of these plaques read that they are being presented to in the name of the student that they are presented to in appreciation for helping to bring national recognition to the cross-country team.